Today, The Doctors is all new, plus a new fix for the most common sports injury and how it can help you. Today on The Doctors, where MD meets TV. A couple of months ago, I fell and injured my shoulder, and since then, it's been extremely difficult for me to do a whole range of things. It's very difficult for me to reach things in cupboards, to play with my grandchildren, and to do my hair. When I went to my doctor, he told me that there was nothing they could do and I would have to live with it the way it was. Is there anything that can be done to fix it? When your health changes in an instant, it's important to know all of your options. That was just Sharon that you saw. When an accident caused her to tear her rotator cuff, she soon realized how pain can take over your life. But Dr. Stetson just might have a solution to get her back on track. Can you tell me about how you hurt your shoulder? I fell backwards with my arm back this way, and I haven't been able to use it since then. And what sort of problems are you having with it now? I can bend it at the elbow, mm -hmm. but I can't reach up with it at all. So I'll just ask you to move your good shoulder first. Can you raise your left arm above your head? Great. And how about going to the side? Can you raise your right arm in front of you? I can't raise it up. It hurts. Another thing you're telling me, Sharon, it sounds like you probably have a rotator cuff tear. What I'd like to do today is do a quick set of x-rays. One, two, three. Looking from the side, you see you do have a fairly large bone spur here. But no arthritis. The MRI shows us you have a very, very bad torn rotator cuff. The rotator cuff used to be attached way over there where my crosses. Oh my goodness. So it's torn from here all the way over to the edge. The good news is the muscle is still very healthy. Your injury was only a few months ago. So there's a very good chance that we can reattach it back to the bone and give you some function back in your shoulder and help relieve your pain. Great. Thank you, Dr. Stetson. We have Dr. Stetson with us today. Welcome back, sir. Thank you, Travis. So Bill, I have to tell you, first things first, clap in the audience if you knew what the rotator cuff Men. Okay. Very common injury. I see people coming to the ER a lot after an injury to a rotator cuff. So let's talk a little bit about the rotator cuff and what it is. It is a really common injury, Travis. There's actually four rotator cuff muscles, but the one that's most commonly injured is called the, the supraspinatus, which is the one on the top. It actually is a mechanical problem. It just ruptures away from the bone. If it doesn't, isn't reattached, then people lose function and have chronic pain. And that's why in that video there, you, you see Sharon walking around, and, and she really can't get her arm up at all. She's reaching up, and, and, and the other arm essentially becomes somewhat useless. It really does. People can't do their activities of daily living. They can't take things off the shelf, can't comb their hair. And if it's not repaired, they end up getting a chronic pain and basically having to have a shoulder replacement. We have a cool animation. Walk us through what we're seeing here. Be happy to. <clears throat> so what you see here is we're looking from the back to the front of somebody's right shoulder, and there's the rotator cuff rupturing away from the bone. When it ruptures away from the bone, or called the humerus, then you lose the, basically the lever arm or any attachment and you can't raise your arm above your head. And we have you here because there is hope. Coming up, we got an exclusive look into Dr. Stetson's OR while he repaired Sharon's shoulder. Stay with us and we'll show you this amazing surgery. Today we've been discussing how a sudden change in health can change your life forever. And when Sharon tore her rotator cuff, she never thought the pain would go away. That was until Dr. Stetson agreed to give her the latest in rotator cuff surgeries. So the first thing we're going to do is make a small incision in the back part of the shoulder. And then I introduce the arthroscope. The arthroscope is a, like a telescope with a light on the end. And make another small skin incision. We're constantly irrigating, getting rid of anything that may be loose or floating around. And this is the third incision. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to take off the bone spur. So this big bone spur right here digs into the rotator cuff, which is down below. So I take my high-speed burr and I smooth it away. Here is the rotator cuff, way over there. This is where it should be attached. So we have, boy, a good three or four inches to go. This is about as bad a tear as it gets. The next thing we're going to do is place a little anchor into the bone. Tap it ever so gently, right about there. We screw it into the bone. I take this, I make two knots. As you can see, as we pull on it, it'll repair it. We've got a lot more stitches. 
now we're going to put another anchor in. We have one, two, three, four, five, I think at least six stitches in there. Now we're going to tie this one, and that should do it. So as you can see here, the gap has been closed so much that you can't really see it anymore. She's got a long rehab ahead of her, but I think she'll do very well. Sharon is with us. Please mm -hmm. welcome her. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Pretty cool surgery there. Thanks a lot. You know, it's all done arthroscopically, so three small incisions. And so Sharon actually went home the same day, didn't have the big incision, so her recovery time will be much faster than an open surgery. And uh, you were just telling me how long has it been? Two and a half weeks. How are you feeling? I feel great. I didn't have to take a lot of pain medication, and I feel wonderful. And, and what can she expect from here on out? Well, what we can expect is we keep her in the sling for about two or three weeks, but we actually expect her to start moving it, and we start physical therapy right away. So within four to six weeks, we'll be allowing her to do things above her head. But it's a good four to six months before she gets all her strength back. By, but by six months, she should be doing actually just great. So let's say I'm at home, and I think maybe I've torn my rotator cuff. But I can still move it, but it just really hurts a lot. Anything I can do at home, short of coming to see you and, and getting, getting, well, sure. a, getting a surgery? The first, thing we, the first thing you should do is take some anti-inflammatories if, you, if your stomach is able to take it. So you should take a short course of a... Ibuprofen for about a week to 10 days, plus icing it. Icing is very good to, with, for the shoulder. If that doesn't improve your symptoms and your range of motion becomes less or restricted, can't do things above your head, and the pain persists, then you need to be evaluated either by your primary care physician or by an orthopedic surgeon who specializes in shoulder surgery. But most importantly, there is hope for someone just like you, Sharon. Yes. Thank you for being on the thank show you and for sharing your story. Me. Thank you. Dr. Stetson, thank you. Dr. Sesson just gave some great advice. There's a mnemonic. Anytime you injure yourself, RICE, R-I-C-E, rest it, use ice. You can actually apply some, for other injuries, compression. And, and if you don't want to elevate it, you know, as a, in the case of the shoulder, if it is something else, if you elevate it above the level of your heart, that'll actually help decrease some of the inflammation. And um, you have hope, just like Sharon. Don't go away. My doctor's orders are next.